Well, great evening. <clears throat> this evening, I was gifted some tampa. So I made my first tampa. Um, Pu'er tea with salt. I used half and half. And uh, butter. A little bit of sugar in it. And then the uh, tampa. So it made like a, I made it, you know, a little thick, but I didn't make the heavy dough balls. Um, I'm going to try that again one of these times. Now, I did watch a thing that this woman, a Tibetan woman, mixes the tampa with everything. She did with uh, apple, with applesauce. She made a dessert, a banana, okay, squashed a banana, put some lemon on it, and sprinkled it with tampa and had it for a dessert. She mixed it with yogurt. I mean, almost any way you can do, she has done it. Also, you make it, you mix it in a soup. You can mix it in your soup. You can have it with this, or you can make it thicker and do like a porridge, like a morning meal. So I wanted to try it the first time doing the butter tea. Mm -hmm. with pu'er. Now, I'm not a huge tea person, okay? So this is actually, I'm pleasantly surprised. It's so fragrant, though. The minute I opened it up, I could smell the fragrance of that barley, that roasted barley, and it is lovely. And so, yeah, I am enjoying it. So thank you, thank you, thank you for that gift. I do so appreciate it. And I will put the uh, link in there if you are interested in the Tampa. This is very, very nice Tampa. And like I said, the minute you open it up, oh my good, I, I had it sitting here on the table and I could smell that fragrance. It's that beautiful nutty fragrance that it's got. Just lovely, okay? So I'm going to try this in a number of different ways. Um, next time I might try taking the tzampa and mixing it with the butter and making the ball and try eating it that way as well. Um, you can also put um, little fruit things in with it as well. You can use it. It is so versatile. I've been looking it up on the internet today. Very, very versatile in the ways that you can use this, okay? So I'm going to leave this here. I'm going to go back and enjoy the rest of my tzampa, my, my butter tea. And I did put a lot of butter. I used half and half in this when I made it, okay, rather than just regular milk to, to give it that creaminess. I used half and half butter, pu'er tea, and uh, salt, Himalayan salt, of course. Little bit of the coconut sugar, just to because I don't like really salty things, and the uh, the uh, sampa sampa in it as well, and it's like I said, it's kind of a okay. I didn't make it really thin, thin but I didn't make it really thick either. So <laughs> I wanted to give it the first time I've tried it, you know. Just uh, give it a shot and see how it is, and it's actually very good. So I'm looking forward to trying it the other ways, you know, mixing it up and making the dough, um, kind of the dough balls. I'm going to try that next time that way. So thanks for tuning in, Love and Light, and I'll see you online.